We were already seeing that some symptoms um, that people or staff and patients were having were not just the fever and the cough, there were other things as well. We really wanted to understand how that could be used to detect and understand COVID as it passes through the British population. So we created um, with Zoe, who's a data science company, um, this very user-friendly app which anybody all over the country could use very simply to report on the symptoms that they had. The really exciting thing about the app is that it provides real-time data and with very swift work by a large group of scientists, we've able to really find insights very quickly. Symptoms such as loss of taste and smell are really important in defining the disease, especially in the more ambulant and younger um, population that could be passing this virus around. And so really by identifying that, that's really important because it means that we maybe need to be a bit more careful if we lose sense of say, taste or smell, that could be a signal that we might be carrying the virus even without having any more significant symptoms. In older groups, um, the presentation with more abdominal symptoms might be more significant and the presentation with a confusional state might be a marker of COVID. And that's really important if we're thinking about how the virus might be spreading in care homes um, and in more at risk populations, that people need to be on the lookout um, if there are symptoms like that, like confusion, even with, in the absence of fever and cough. We've already been able to look at the twins that are using the app. And we can see that these symptoms that I'm talking about, um, including fever and delirium even, have a really strong genetic component. Um, up to 50% of the difference in how people um, develop those symptoms seem to be due to the genetics. And we can understand that by comparing identical twins with non-identical twins. We are getting out of the first wave of infection and the key critical point is how we go from there here and how we make sure that we detect changes early within the population and so that's where um, a symptom study like ours which is not tracking or tracing people but is simply a very easy way for people to report on how they're feeling in a completely anonymous way across the country that could really be a very early signal a sort of canary um, signal to see how we're um, doing as we come out of lockdown. What this app has shown is the power of people coming together and reporting in a very simple way about really important issues and how through that really big data that can be uh, achieved that way we can understand any particular research question and so yes there's definitely space for apps like this to be to be really important in the management of chronic long-term conditions or really important in the manage of any other um, sort of severe challenge we have as a society going forward.